KXLY4 and other media outlets won a victory in court this afternoon, allowing public access to personnel records of a former University of Idaho professor who shot and killed a student. Well, 31-year-old Ernesto Busamonte had been romantically involved with 22-year-old Katie Benoit. After he threatened her several times, she complained to the university. Busamonte resigned in August. Three days later, he killed Benoit and then shot himself. Other students say they had complained about Busamonte, and tonight we are closer to finding out what the university knew and when. KXY4's Colleen O'Brien is live in Moscow tonight with details of today's decision. Colleen? Well, it took about an hour for the judge to rule in our favor. At issue was whether Bustamante in his death was still protected. As the law in Idaho currently stands, former and current state employees are protected from disclosing their personnel files. At issue today, clarification of Idaho's public records law. Is Ernesto Bustamante considered a former state employee, therefore exempt, or does his death open the doors to his personnel files? Attorneys for media groups seeking those files argue the law does not protect dead state employees. That is a gaping omission. And the fact that that omission exists can only suggest one thing, that the legislature knew and intended that a deceased former public official had no right to privacy. Ultimately, the judge rejected that argument and said Bustamante, dead or alive, is still classified as a former state employee. However, he said, the goal of Idaho's public records law is transparency and openness within the government and ordered those files be released. U of I attorneys now have the painstaking task of putting together every bit of information they have about Bustamante during his time at the school. And some of these public records requests are very broad. They ask for all of the records relating to this person as far back as we have. Um, my, my ITS person estimates for me that that's somewhere in the neighborhood of 70,000 emails. The University of Idaho maintains they never intended to hide this information from the public. They only sought clarification in the law. And it is still going to be several days before we see any of those papers, personnel records of Bustamante at his time at the University of Idaho. Uh, right now they have to decide which files uh, they need to release to us. So we need to pare down our request to be a little bit more specific. And then they need to go through those emails or personnel files and redact any student names who are protected under the FERPA law from those. So again, it could be several days before we find out any more information about Bustamante and his time at the University of Idaho. Reporting live from Moscow, Idaho, Colleen O'Brien, KXLY4 HD News.